Hi, I'm Ivan Pendergast, Emergency Management Coordinator and Safety Specialist with the Department of Environmental Health and Safety. And I am Osvaldo Crespo, Director of Environmental Health and Safety. You may recall a campus-wide severe weather exercise we conducted in the fall of 2016. I want to thank you for your participation in that exercise. The crisis management team performs various activities during the year so that way we may better be prepared to handle those less than favorable situations. And when we involve the Trinity community, we learn from you. During the severe weather exercise, we learn we need to do a better job of designating and marking specific areas of shelter during severe weather. Having said that, these locations were determined based on using five protective elements. These protective elements are, but not limited to, one, the lowest floor possible, two, in between interior partitions, three, utilizing short roofs or floor spans, four, inside buildings with rigid frames, five, if possible, within a structure that is constructed with poured in place reinforced concrete. It is important that you know these five protective elements to look for in a severe weather shelter in case you are not able to make it to one we have listed. If you have time, look for these signs that indicate what we have designated as a severe weather shelter. If you can, know where these areas are in the building you frequent. This way, you do not have to look for them at the last moment. You can find these locations listed online if you go to inside.trinity.edu and search severe weather shelter. Remember that you are ultimately responsible for your safety. Know your surroundings, gather as much information as possible, and make the best informed decision you can. I hope that we have helped you get closer to that goal in regards to severe weather. If you have any questions or comments, send them to ehs at trinity.edu.